Wow, welcome back to Mosaic's New World Empire. This is 2020. So much for you. This is a channel where we teach all musical instruments. And then we are gradually moving forward. We started from the saxophone last year. This year we've added the guitar. Consider subscribing right away. Alright, last year on the saxophone, we started by teaching you step by step the beginners class, the intermediate class. We... Alright, this year we're going to be picking out one technique per time and we're going to be expanding it on a particular class so that if you miss something or you didn't get it right you will start getting it right oh, but i still expect you to go back and listen to those classes watch those classes over and over so that when we now come into applying them you are not lost all right today i want to teach you how to apply the talking techniques when should the saxophone is play legato or play staccato staccato is a technique where you use this, the tongue technique to distinct your notes one from another and then the legato you just try and join your note put your notes together uh the staccato is something that is very good for funk for reggae for so many kind of genres out there but when it comes to blues some uh, especially blues you have to just go legato but as a jazz saxophonist you can decide to use any one depending on the way you want to articulate your notes all right so we are going to be talking about using the use of legato and staccato in jazz improvisation depending on the kind of uh, mentor you listen to if you listen to general Bry, you see more of staccato in his play if you listen to kekwalom you see more of legato in his play you know it depends so depend on the saxophonist different saxophonists have their own way of playing but what i don't like is when i see saxophonists learn especially those that are still learning playing the saxophone as if they are blowing trumpet you know you see somebody everything is just you know you are just trying to play no try and play something that is bluesy something that gives you that that uh, feels of a saxophone that's the legato. That's why I, I personally play more on the legato than on the staccato. For example, give me a song like What a friend we have in Jesus. I'm on key D on the auto saxophone. A saxophone can decide to play that. But another saxophonist can play it like this using more of the legato. Like that, like that. So you can know, but I prefer you use more of your long tone, your legato, give it that gliding effect so that you know it is just going, you know. So, but when you're on when you're playing funk, like the guitar, the guitarist, the, they will do you see them using more of the staccato to distinct their notes while they play like that. You will notice I'm tonguing some notes. I'm leaving some notes. In fact, the slurring technique is also a technique that helps the legato to distinct its note. You use the slurring techniques to distinct your note even while you are playing legato. For example, see, every time I slur it, it gives you a distinct do, 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 do. It helps my nose to be distinct. So the slurring technique is very important when you're trying to articulate the legato uh, playing. Okay, so. So, 
Someone can play like. more of the staccato of course the whole thing is already going funky so you see depending on what you are playing there are some solos you are supposed to solo in blues that you end up turning that blues into a funk if you are not careful on how to use legato or staccato all right today i'm going to have a soundtrack here for you again of course we'll continue like that on uh african praise i have a song you are girl you are not just big oh. you are not just large oh. you are a great god when you are leading praise and worship in the african culture you use more of your staccato when you are when you, when we come to the praise songs that's the fast songs and then when you come to the worship song which we call the slow songs you use try and as much as possible to use your legato so when if you are playing if you are leading worship it's different when you are leading praise Praise, you know. See, the, the African culture is a dancing culture, and then we use more of the staccato. Our notes are very distinct. The songs itself tells you that you should use, you know. This one is. Come to your worship medley. You want to do a song like. your legato then there are some worship songs that you have to apply some le some certain level of tongue for example uh, parts you have to use your tongue in but the slowly technique is going to really help you to distinct your notes whenever you are playing the legato all right so that's how it goes so today i'm going to just give you a soundtrack on the praise i did a soundtrack on um uh you are god you are not just big and then you are the reason why I lift my voice. What I did, I did, I did I sing to you. I hope you know the song. If you don't know the song, don't worry. We'll come to the songs that you know. That is just the African way of praising God. When I go to you are the reason, I, did, I, did, I, did, I use more of the legato. But while I was doing, you are God. That song is more of the, on the staccato. And then if you are playing legato on that, you are God. And you are playing staccato on the, you are the really means you are not getting where to really put things in perspective. All right, join me as we play this over this soundtrack on those two songs. I hope you learn a lot and I believe you will subscribe. <laughs>
Mm-hmm.